Hey all here, OS Reviews, you're watching our hands-on review of the KZAS10. So if you're an audiophile and you've been browsing a lot of forums, you've probably heard of this brand. They're based in Shenzhen, China, they've been around for the past few years, and they are widely celebrated for making really good sounding in-ear monitors and earphones for really low prices, usually around 20 to 30 bucks. Well, the AS10 is their flagship model that sells for $70, their most expensive pair yet, but also the most most exciting in a sense because they actually have 10 balanced armature drivers. Uh, that means there's five per earphone. That's uh, pretty much more than any other pair I've ever come across and that's a pretty shocking number to see. Previous record holders included one more's quad driver. It almost reminds me of the smartphone camera race right now where manufacturers are just putting more and more lenses on their cameras like the Nokia you know, PureView 9 that has uh, you know five lenses on the back. Now the concept for something like this makes sense. With more different types of drivers, you're technically able to create a more expressive sound. So maybe one is dedicated for the bass, so it should be loud and punchy, while another one is really dedicated for mids, another one for highs, so you can have really nice articulated and detailed sound. But whether just more and more kind of increased drivers will have a direct linear relationship with increased sound quality is another question that we'll have to explore in this video. So taking a look at the packaging here, it's quite simple. This version does have an inline microphone as well. Inside we've got the instruction manual, we've got some spare silicon tips, there is already a pair installed by default. So these don't come with uh, memory foam or comply tips by default, you can always use your own however, and they also come with a detachable cable which is great because if it fries or breaks, you're still able to replace it and continue using the earphones. Finally there's just the tips for connecting to the earphones, and these also have a bendable wire to them that fits over the outside of your ears. So taking a closer look at the design of these uh, IE. They are, again, pretty typical looking as far as the shape is concerned, made out of an acrylic plastic, a teardrop shape to them. The uh, kind of transparent texture is pretty cool. You're able to see KZ logo and kind of the printed PCB underneath as well. These are the connectors, and then on the other side we just have the soft silicon tip that has a slightly ergonomic tilt to them. And then there's just a little bit of a logo that says left and right, as well as 10 balanced armatures. Overall, they are very lightweight, and the dimensions aren't any larger than regular pairs of IEMs that we've seen. So despite having, again, five different balanced armatures on each of these crammed into this tiny little body, uh, it really isn't larger or heavier than a typical pair of earphones, which is pretty impressive. Moving into audio quality and performance, they're really dynamic, and I think for the majority of consumers, they're going to be really easy to pick up and start listening to, because the bass is just uh, so punchy and rich and expressive, but at the same time, you don't really lose detail and the mids and highs, the treble as well. So everything is just extremely articulated, especially I would say the bass. So classically speaking, IEMs and audiophile grade kind of earphones and headphones do have more of kind of a acoustic uh, or neutral sound to them. Ergonomics are also really strong, so because they are very light and with the memory wire here, I could wear these for extended periods of time without noticing any stress or strain. Now the only slight downside would be that uh, if you actually remove these silicon tips, what you'll find is that there isn't really a mesh or a net on the very top that catches your earwax and lint from falling in and uh, that you normally see with other pairs right on top because that's also where the balanced armature are placed on most IEMs. But since all of these are inside, because again there's five of them, there's more kind of a tunneling effect and the kind of silicon tip here also doesn't have that built-in kind of mesh or net. So that's a only slight design quirk. At the end of the day, although these are the flagship model for KZ, they're still not really expensive compared to more well-established brands. I mean, 70 bucks for something that is pretty innovative in terms of its driver setup, I think is still worthwhile, especially considering the sound. I think that KZ has done a tremendously good job of, again, bringing value and just a very expressive sound. Again, I talked about how the bass was very rich and powerful, but it's also not overwhelming either, unless you tweak up the EQ purposefully. So you still are able to get a very balanced sound with the mids and highs. So I think for the vast majority 
of consumers out there, as well as even audiophiles, if you're looking for a pair of affordable, yet really fun to play with in your monitors that sound great, but don't break the bank. Again, the KZAS10s are a great pair to take a closer look at. Now, if we go back to our original question of whether 10 drivers you know, are necessarily 10 times better than a pair of earphones with only one driver, I would say not necessarily. There isn't a huge kind of linear relationship. The increments become more and more subtle as additional drivers are packed in. In the case of these AS10s, you're able to hear plenty of detail and articulation between the mids and the highs. Uh, everything still remains powerful regardless of really what frequency that you're listening at, which is again, of course, the benefit. But at the same time, even the kind of cheaper earphones from KZ that we've checked out, or if you're looking at just one more's offerings, their triple driver or their quad driver already sounds, again, very, very good it's not going to be kind of a night and day difference, I would say. You can check out more details if interested in the links down below, but for now, that's been our video. Thanks for watching here at OS Reviews. That's been the KZ AS10 in your monitor.